right then guys, what you're looking at here is the same thing that I eat every other day for breakfast, which is the egg on toast and the sausages. But the difference is, it's been mixed up in a pan and added a few onions and some chilies. So it's the same dish, just looks different. And I'll tell you one thing, doesn't it look delicious? Have you guys tried this cinnamon spice coffee from Costa? Go and get one if you haven't, it's very nice. So welcome to the Vintage Barber Company. This is my barber shop, which is unfortunately closed because of the lockdown rules. And I thought I'd come and pay the old shop a visit as I haven't been here for a few weeks and see how she's doing. And quite honestly, she misses me. She misses me and I miss her. Why am I calling it a agenda? It misses me. So Boris is about to announce the roadmap on how we're going to ease out a lockdown. And quite frankly, I think the guys got it wrong. Like they're focusing on schools and schools to be the number one priority. And then uh, families to get together and possibly friends meeting outside no more than six. And the barber shops are really at the bottom of the list. And I don't understand, and here's my argument, yeah? First of all, we understand kids need the education, but my kids, they're studying at home full time. So we're in a pandemic, and we're gonna open the schools for these kids to mix again. And I know kids mix, and the virus has been traveling through the schools, because my kid's school had to close down for two weeks because there was an outbreak. So aren't we really risking it at this crucial stage when we're trying to come out of this virus to really invite it back in? And then, you know, my argument to why my barber shop is closed. We're, we, the public, are seeing the brick and mortar shops closed, yeah? Like the barber shops, the hair salons and the small retail outlets. But what about these big boys? These big boys like Boohoo and ASOS and B&Q and Wix. They still operate and they're not essential. And I don't think people understand the amount of manpower you need for these businesses to operate. Like they sell thousands of products every day. And the production line, they need lots of people. Like the managers, the sorters, the packers, the organizers, the supervisors, the deliveries, the supplies. And then they're working in conjunction with the parcel companies. And since this lockdown, Online business is booming. I mean, Amazon have made more money in this lockdown than out of it. And if you look at their production line, they've got thousands of people working there. I mean, one of my first jobs when I was young is working in a parcel office. I used to work for Parcel Force. And they've got hundreds of people working there. So I believe I've got more chance of catching this virus from a parcel delivery than me giving someone a haircut. So Boris, I do believe you've got this wrong, mate. I think you're favoring, you know, the bigger companies out there rather than the smaller companies. And quite frankly, it's not acceptable. So Boris, I don't think you got your roadmap quite right. I think you should let the barber shops open and come and get yourself a haircut. Come down, I'll sort you out. I'll give you a discount. Right, I had to let off some steam about that roadmap. Boris, me old mate, you've made me hungry. Now look, I've got to eat some of this sog and paneer to fix up. But no rice today. I've got to settle for that tortilla wrap. So let's have it. Look what my son has pulled out from the cupboard. I didn't even know that we had this. I, I saw it yesterday. I thought I had the last one. This is the popcorn 
formaldehyde, coconut and vanilla. If you haven't had this, go and get one. It is freaking tasty and only 130 calories. Shall we do it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright then guys, it's about quarter to twelve and I got really hungry about an hour ago. I'm messing around on my phone trying to fix up some of this edit and I'm not going to have a big meal right now but just to tickle my belly a little bit I'm going to have some of this rice cake with the usual peanut butter and marmite. 